Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wow, it's a very joyful moment for all of us as we have entered into this new year. The Lord has been so faithful for the last year, 2019. And I have come to here to encourage you as the Lord has been so faithful, He will be faithful also in this year in our life. We are running in second decades and it's a year of completed. You might lost many things in 2019. You might get some pain in your life in 2019. You might you know, get some fraction in your relationship in 2019. But in 2020, the eyes of the Lord our God will be with you from the beginning of this year to till its end. Amen. The Lord will be there. The Lord will be watching. The Lord will be keeping you in His hand safe and sound. Yes, the past has gone already. Do not worry about what you have lost. Do not worry about what you have not able to complete. But trust in the Lord that He is going to do something new and great thing in your life, in your family, in your ministry, in your relationship, in your business, yes my friends, in your career, God will hold your career. He will sustain our life in 2020. As the Lord has spoken to us for 2020, the theme for 2020 is the year of growth. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 18 says, Let us grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, my friends, 2020 is the year of growth for all of us. What should our goal for 2020. Four things I would like to tell you very quickly. The first thing, what should our goal for 2020? The first thing is, put God first in your all areas of your life. Yes, our God is the God who wants a first place in your life. In your personal life, in your relationship, in your working areas, in your business, in your ministry, every area of your life, let God be a first place of your life. The second thing is read more the Bible. Yes. The Bible is our spiritual food. The Bible is the way that we can hear the voice of God. The Bible is the way to understand the will of our Heavenly Father. If you ask me, how, what is the will of God? How to know the will of God? My answer is to you. The Word of God is the will of God. If you spend your more time in the Word of God, you will get the more will of God in your life. So, in 2020, may God help us to read and understand and obey the Word of God. The third thing is, for this 2020, 
spend more time in prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer is the way to communicate with God. And the precious moment of our life is none other than it is only prayer time. The more you pray, the more you will see the greater thing. If you want to grow up in Christ in 2020, let your valuable time, you know, spend in prayer and you will see the greater things. And the fourth and last thing for 2020 is, let us trust in the Lord in 2020. You may see something impossible things in your life. You may see some brokenness in your relationship. You may see, you know, failure in your life. But may God help us and help you to see some greater thing in your life. If you trust in the Lord completely in 2020, you will see the greater miracles, you will see the greater things in your life because our God is the God of miracle. Our God who parted the Red Sea is on your side. He will show something greater in your life. Our God who assassinated the Goliath is on your side. He will show something big and greater in your life. A God who raised the Lazarus from four, after four days, he is on your side and he will make things alive in your favor. May God help us to grow up in Christ in 2020.